Well, g'day there, my fellow hunters, and welcome. Today, as you can see, we are playing the Monster Hunter Worlds beta. And we are doing a Ray Dow hunt. Now, what I've done, I've just randomly joined it in a hunt that was like a minute or so in. Because I like playing with random people. I like playing with peoples because it makes it a lot more fun. So, I thought I'd share with you my hunts of Ray Dow. Well, this hunt especially. So, as you can see, straight off the bat, I'm using, just using a heavy bow gun because this thing, you just stand to the left or right of him. You got a really good range on the gun, and you can just pump him full of shells. Like obviously, I'm shooting poison at the moment because, well, once he's poisoned, I get free damage. So all you do, like I've found, like with the bow guns, I don't know about the bows, but all I do is just stand to the left or the right of Ray, and basically, all these attacks, that maybe except for his tail, are forward facing. Like you will basically have, and even if he does target you, because you're to the left or the right, when you see him turn to try and get you. You just move the fuck out of the way and Ray's just like, just goes, oh, and just misses you completely. So, I just want to know, like, how are you all enjoying the beta? How are you all enjoying the fights? Because Ray at the moment is the best fight in the beta by a long shot because he's, he's, he's tough, but he's fair. He can one shot you, but you know, you're given enough time where if you really pay attention, you can get out of the road. So, I want to hear from everyone out there, like, have you changed up your main? Because I'm usually a dual blade main. Like in, in Iceborne, I use the switch axe because, you know, clutch claws so you could latch on. Just use elemental discharge. But in this game here, I'm finding, like, the bow guns are really fun to use. They give you a lot of really good range. And you can do some really good DPS. So, let me know if you've, in the comments, that is, if you've changed up your weapon since playing the beta. Because at this point in time, I'm thinking I might just become a heavy bow gunner. Because I'm absolutely having a blast with this weapon. I will probably go back to dual blades. Also, let me know down below if you've actually defeated Ray. And you're actually looking forward to actually making him into a hat. Or a pair of pants. Because I really want to see his weapon design. Obviously, you know, without 100% proof, I'm pretty sure they're going to have Thunder Element on him. Because, you know, that's the type of energy he uses. So as you can see, he's using his ray gun. I'm just standing to the side and I've got so much room to just to get the fuck out of the way of that attack that I'm just not even worried. So I'm going to leave this play through if you just want to watch the gameplay of me just absolutely just standing to the left or the right and just, just capping Ray A. So let me know down below if you've changed up your weapon since the beta started. If you've actually taken Ray down because, you know, Ray is a really good fight and I really recommend that everyone get, him, get into it and actually have a go at fighting him. Even if you don't feel confident, he's still a fun fight to be had, and it's an experience, you know. Unlike the, you know, the Rise demo where Magmella was absolutely fucking brutal and completely unfair because of your weapon skills, Ray is unlike that. And not only that, if you do need free DPS, put down a Pitfall Trap. Like, honestly, I haven't tried a Thunder Trap because, you know, I just thought, you know, he's Element, he'd probably just charge him up and he'd fly out. But the Pitfall Trap, Vine Traps, every one of those traps, you can actually lock him down and get some free good DPS on him. So, I recommend you, if you're still worried about fighting Ray, just, just have a go. It doesn't matter if you're, if you're the fun. It's all about the fun of the fight. So, yeah, let me know if you're beating him. Let me know what weapon you want and what you thought of the beta. Because, quite frankly, this beta, this whole entire thing, has been absolutely fantastic. I kind of wish it would go longer, to be honest with you. Like... I don't know, like, you guys, because I, like, work a lot of hours. I find it very hard to get enough time to actually get in here the set days and actually get into this game. So I'm going to take a couple of days off when it drops because I really want to play it, but I cannot wait till February. It is going to be so fun, and I can't wait to turn this guy, especially this guy, into a hat or a gun or just even a pair of boots just to see what he looks like because I reckon he's going to have a really cool design. That and the Black Flame. Because I don't know about you, but I really want to kill an octopus monster. You know, it, it, that is, when I saw that guy in a trailer, I thought, holy fucking shit, that is a cool monster. Look at that for a design. That is absolutely fantastic. So, you know, let me know what monster you're most looking forward to fighting. you got Oof Doomer, Quimmer Trees. I want to fight a giant chicken that shoots fire. It spreads shit on the ground and lights it up. Because that is going to be another cool fight. Plus, you know, if you get the Quimmer Trees fight, we could get some seriously cool weapons. I know it's probably from an older game, but because I started more than Iceboard, I can get my drumstick hammer back. And that'd be really, really, really cool. You know, you know, you could run around with drumstick fucking jewel blades or something like that, or wing look like chicken wings. 
skill blades. You know, just there's so much cool designs you could do with Krimmer trees. Same with Oof Duna. You know, I really, I'm really hoping that we get some really silly weapon designs and they're not all like metal and shit like they were in fucking World Night Spot. And I really do hope we get some really stupid looking weapons that are just fun to look at. So anyway, let me know what what monster you want to fight because so far, Oof Duna, Krimmer trees, and the Octopus, the Black Flame. He's, they're, they're my three favorite. I mean, this guy's cool and all, but I don't know. There's something about a fire chicken and a big, and because, you know, in World Nightspawn, there wasn't Leviathans. And, like, I did play Rise and Sunbreak, but it wasn't my, I, I wasn't, like, my favorite game. Like, it was nowhere near as good as World Nightspawn. I know, I just probably, if you, if you did think it was better, that's, that's cool, but that's just my opinion. So let me know what, what are your top three monsters you want to hunt because obviously I've hunted this guy. I'm going to kill him again because obviously it's part of the story. you got no choice. But like, man, Krimmer Trees, Oof Duna, and the Black Flame. And also Arkveld because, but I feel like he's going to be like something. There's going to be something. There's obviously going to be a giant monster at the end of the game that Arkveld's probably either trying to stop or trying to fucking attack. You know, he could be flying in that village in a trailer. Is try and stop that the main monster from doing damage but instead you know he got the blame for it and he's like thinking oh fuck everyone then you know i don't know but anyway if i'm gonna leave you with the rest of the gameplay let me know if you beat it him let me know what weapons and your monsters you want to fight when the full game drops and as always if you enjoyed this comment um content don't forget to like and subscribe and until next time everybody happy hunting